And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast, up against Master of Buck. He is the Buckmaster in the Southwest. He is the Blue Terran. Uh, so we are going to be seeing another TVT. I'm not sure which mashup you guys like the best. I do know that you guys like it when it's Terran. Um, when I'm Terran, because I haven't been showing you anything else. I assume you like that. Uh, but I don't know what matchup you guys like the best in terms of Terran versus. Uh, so let me know. Uh, the map is Zalnaga Caverns, home of my least favorite expansion, because there's actually three entrances into the expansion. There's one here, one here, even though most people consider that one uh, route in. Um, Oh, look at that. There's actually two more over here. So one here that I hardly ever see used in uh, games on my level. And of course one here. So technically there's four entrances from two different directions into the expo. So I am not a fan of this map. Although I hear it is pretty good for Terran players. And here he supplies, Master of Buck supply locks himself. That SCV could have come out a little bit sooner, uh, but he goes straight into the barracks there. So he should, yes, he does have a slight lead on me on that barracks, but I do have uh, the SCV coming out soon. I am getting in a uh, refinery before him as well. So it looks like he might be sticking with the Marines for a little while because I will be able to get out Marauders faster than him. So, once again, if you guys are um, new to my channel, or if I haven't even said it, I don't know if I have yet, uh, 9 Supply Depot, right? 9 SCV Supply Depot. Um, the timing's a little weird on that, but that's the best timing that we got. And then once the Supply Depot's up, either send him out to Scout like I did, seeing everything that's going on here, um, or send them back to the minerals. Then, as soon as you get 150 minerals, but keep pumping SCVs, I usually get about 12 or 13, uh, get that barracks down. And then once that barracks is down, as soon as you get 75, get that refinery up. And then as soon as the barracks is done, get uh, an orbital command. I usually get uh, one marine out of the barracks as well, and then go into a second barracks. Um, then once the Marine's out, I go for a reactor, and then I build supply depots as necessary, uh, and I usually get a third racks right about now. Uh, looks like I need another SCV, but I still have enough, so I should be getting a third barracks, maybe? There it goes. So there's how I build three racks. He is getting... A um, couple more. Oh, it looks like he moved one of the barracks onto the ramp. He's going to be blocking off. That is a great block off. This will be the weak point right there with that supply depot. Uh, not even that. I mean, that's a great block off, except for the fact that he can't get any add-ons on those barracks now. Plus, he's blocking off his ex exp his expansion here. Um, I forgot how to say that for a second. So that command center will be up fast, and now, you know, he he pretty much blocked it off from his SCVs. You know, this this guy can get there, but now uh, the supply depots uh, will have to be lowered. He, I mean, that's a, it's a, oh, he did have to move the, yeah, he had to move it, so he did get a tech lab on one of the barracks, and so he had to build that su second supply depot. But now, you know, the command center's up, being morphed into an orbital command, so he should be taking a slight lead uh, in the harvester count soon. Um, but I do have the lead right now. Uh, now it's even. So he does have the lead, but what's he spending it on? Economy. And that's pretty much it. I mean, he's got... He doesn't have that much left, it looks like, because he went for so many supply depots. I mean, he's 27 out of 54 now. And there's his third Rex coming out. And here comes my Marines and Marauders. That is not a complete block off. I don't know if you guys knew that, but no, not even close. But I will uh, be forcing them to come in single file if they choose to do a run by. And that's kind of what I wanted there. And um, no, it looks like he did catch up in technology. So he is spending a lot. What is he going for? Um, 
looks like he's going for uh, concussive shells and stim packs. He is getting an engineering bay. Two more barracks on the way, so we are going to be seeing a five racks out of Master of Buck. That is why he needs the expansion. Of course, you cannot do a five racks on one base's worth of minerals, especially if you're going massive marines. But it does look like he's got a tech lab on just about all of them. There is a reactor there. Um, what is this APM? Oh my goodness, I am winning in APM. That will probably change, but I'll keep an eye on that. Let's check it at the end of the game. I'll remind me, okay? Uh, I do move these guys down, uh, one marine on each of the towers, because these towers are <laughs> among my favorite towers on any map, because you can almost see all the way across here. You might be able to. It's hard to tell because of this cavern here. Uh, but there's no way for him pretty much to get to my base without me knowing it now. Uh, there are definitely other maps where that is not true. I, I think I showed you guys uh, that Delta Quadrant game against a Protoss player. And um, I did have a guy at the Salonga Tower, but it didn't matter. He sent his army in anyways, and I never saw it. So it gave me a false sense of security, that Marine. And I am getting upgrades on these guys. I do have Stimpak done. Um... So that should help a little bit. What is the army count? 16 to 8 for me. 16 uh, marines and 8 marauders up against 9, 6, 9 marines and 6 marauders for him. And here I go for the expansion and it is completely undefended. Just checking it out. Because I always check out for an expansion before I go into the main base. This guy, these are always easier. And there goes the supply depot down. And these guys are coming out pretty much two by two. Um, and there they go. And in comes the army. There goes my first stim pack. And th I should be able to s finish that off easily. Even though I do have no upgrades. And... There goes the SUV. He's trying to get back into the <laughs> to the expansion, but of course it's not there anymore. Uh, like I said, I would love them to change the the AI on those guys uh, to get them um, instead of not to go back to the same group of minerals even after that you know command center or whatever has been destroyed. Uh, just a thought, but I'm sure that will ruin long distance mining. So I'm down to six Marauders here, but I'm still doing massive amounts of damage. I know he's just down to what he can produce, so I'm trying to take out these barracks. Of course, I cannot see the progress bar, so I do not know how soon that um, Marine was to was to coming out. Uh, so I take out Supply Depots, but he's got plenty left. He's still not Supply Locked, even after taking out all those Supply Depots, both of them here, and the Command Center. And still uh, down to four Marauders, but I've taken out two of the five racks. He is getting a second command center, so I probably will not be able to supply lock him. All these Marines coming down, they're stimming up. And so I'm down to just two Marauders, but they do live and in come the reinforcements. So we should be seeing a GG any second now. Command Center did finish. Will it be lifted off and going anywhere? No, he GG's. And that is the game. So once again, three racks um, into uh, Engineering Bay wins it for me. Uh, not doing the best at micro. Look at that. He does overtake me in APM. I knew he would. Up to 34 instead of my 27, which is so pro like those guys in Diamond and at BlizzCon that I saw that had 300. So they're 10 times as fast as I am. Uh, but I'm not sure that's a pure 10 times faster on APM, 10 times faster builds, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I am going for an expansion. That, you know, this is nowhere near an all-in for me. You know, not getting SCVs, not getting the mules, still have a ton of um, minerals and gas. You know, I am far from all in, but still able to take him out very early. He did go for that early expansion, completely oversaturated here because I was able to take out the expansion. Oh my goodness, what is that? Uh, 32, 33 uh, SCVs on the minerals here, and they are dwindling.
So, three racks wins it again for me. Looking at the units lost, not even close. Um, of course, that is because I had mine mostly grouped together. He had to send them out in ones and twos, which is never a good idea. Bunch them up in your base until you think you have enough to take out what I have. Don't send them in one at a time. They'll just die. So I hope you guys laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.